Hi friends, today I'm going to be doing a video about a very simple dish. Yes, it's just got two main ingredients, two sub ingredients and maybe a third. If you haven't entered the kitchen ever in your life, you can do this and it's ever so nutritious. Yes, so let's see what it's all about. These are the main ingredients. Um, we have cauliflower, a bowl of big chunky chunky pieces of cauliflower and another bowl of snow peas. See? Snow peas. Yeah, just you just have to take off the tops and the tails and your snow peas is ready to go. So, um, this is what we've got to do. Set a pan on the stove and switch it on. So, now... All you've got to do is, say the cauliflower, just toss those into the pan and add the snow peas along with them, okay? Together with that, we're going to add just a tiny little bit of water because we're going to use the water to sort this. So I'm just pouring a tiny bit of water there, okay. It's absolutely zero oil, okay. So we've got the, them, a little bit of water and the cauliflower florets along with the snow peas, just with the heads and the tails off. And to this, I'm just going to sprinkle some black pepper powder okay so that's just the seasoning that we use and we're going to use just some salt and black pepper as the seasoning so I put the black pepper and I'm adding the salt so all this is according to taste you don't add more if you want it a bit spicier add less if you want it less spicy there it goes now by now you can see that the water starting to boil a bit simmer a bit Okay, now just give it a toss around, a tiny toss around and I'm just going to close this, okay, I'm going to just close this for the next two to three minutes. That's all I'm going to do, just close it and let it cook in its own steam. There we go. So now it's cooking, uh, it's boiling and I will just lower the flame a teeny weeny bit. I know that as a nutritionist and a lifestyle fit medicine physician, one thing I've often heard is, um, especially from th people who suffer from any thyroid issues, is that whether they could eat cruciferous vegetables. So, and that's the main kind of barrier I face when I encourage people to have either Brussels sprouts or broccoli or cauliflower or cabbage. You see, no, we're not supposed to eat cabbage. We're not supposed to eat cauliflower. See, the thing is this. Most people have an autoimmune form of thyroiditis called Hashimoto's thyroiditis. And um, this impairs the functioning of the thyroid gland. And subsequently, what happens is that we all end up taking eltroxin or some kind of thyroid supplement. Now, if you're a person taking a thyroid supplement because of a malfunctioning thyroid gland, you can eat cruciferous vegetables because those vegetables have a lot of good nutrients in them. They have a lot of sulforaphanes. They're cancer protective. They have so, so much goodness. In fact, I have to do an entire video just on the benefits on cruciferous vegetables. And because you're taking your supplements, it's not going to matter that you're taking cruciferous vegetables. So by not taking all these wonderful nutrient dense vegetables, you're actually selling yourself short so if you have a thyroid problem, my uh, opinion, I do have, I too have a weak thyroid. I have uh, Hashimoto's thyroiditis. So uh, my favorite vegetable is cruciferous vegetables. And I actually love cauliflower. I love cabbage. I even eat raw cabbage. But they say that it's better to cook them. So lightly cooked, lightly steamed veg veggies, and especially cruciferous and this, they are 
wonderful for you and you're missing out on a lot of nutrients if you're not having them because you have a thyroid problem. Now they're almost done. As I said, it just takes barely a minute or so. Now, I think it just took two minutes. Well, all that I'm going to do here is just to give it a little bit of a flavor. What I'm going to do is add a tiny bit of soy sauce. to go and get the soy sauce from my kitchen cupboard so let's have a tiny bit of soy sauce there that is quite dilute so that's why I poured that much so you have thick and thin soy sauce you know the, the one that is dilute and the one that is quite thick so this is a dilute variety of the soy sauce so just a tiny bit of soy sauce if you get the organic variety that's far better and just give it a light toss in that and you're almost good to go because you really don't want to cook these vegetables too much it is a great breakfast great um, lunch a quick and easy lunch to take because it, the flavor of the vegetables is so good that you wouldn't need anything else to go with it so I'm just going to dish that out onto uh, the bowl okay it's almost done here in two minutes and here we go So here is a quick, easy, steaming hot, yummy scrumptious collie and snow peas. You will love this and don't be scared if it's crunchy and you feel it's not as cooked as you'd like because the more crunchy it is, the more nutrients that it has within it. So see you and have a great day and a great week. Until next time. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.